guys, it's Megan. I feel like I haven't seen you in ages because I haven't, um, but I've just been so busy. This is like becoming such a reoccurring theme that I just haven't been around and it's because I've been busy and that is understandable, I think. Um, but I was kind of uninspired to make videos recently as well. And um, I just wasn't like really playing around with makeup and um, yeah, so today I had the day off and I decided randomly that I wanted to fit my makeup into three drawers. So instead of having four drawers of my Ikea Alex system B for makeup, I wanted only three drawers because I wanted my vanity, like my desk area, to be more clear so I could like wipe it down more easily and stuff because I was realizing that it got really like dusty and stuff and I wasn't cleaning it regularly because I had so much crap on the top of it so I didn't want to move it all to have to clean it which is really pathetic um but I wanted to make it more um like clear on the top of my vanity and then um I like reorganized my drawers and stuff so I'm just going to show you around um the different things that I did to make a little bit more space and like condense stuff. I did um decide on a few things that I'm going to get rid of um but yeah so I'll show you what it looks like now so I'm going to turn you guys around. So this is my vanity top. This is where I film, where I get ready. It's really much of the same but it's just much more like clear and open space so I have my brushes where they were before my face brushes in this bigger three wick bath and body works thing then I have an empty wood wick for my eye brushes then I have this Nutella jar from Spain for like pens and smaller brushes um mascaras tweezers that's all the same then I have this little um like tray that I have makeup that I'm currently using like every day. So I have two small palettes that I'll talk about um, with you guys tomorrow in my we weekly repeats, a cream shadow, the Urban Decay lipsticks, and my NARS Ondine. So these are things I reach for like every day. Um, so I have them out on this. Then it's all just empty and I have my Serenity Prayer here and my November products and my mirror. And then I have this little thing. I love this. this is a um, cosmetics organizer I got from Marshalls and it still has the tag on it because I can't get it off. I'm like really incapable or something. So I have all, more like everyday stuff. I have my eyebrow stuff, concealer, some eyeliners, my eye primer, my face stuff is back in this like bigger section. So I have my primers and face products. Then I have a bunch of lip products, my Anastasia brow gel. Um, I just put this in here. This is the nail polish I'm trying to use up. So I have that in there. My Jack Black lip balm I can't live without, a perfume sample, mascara samples, you know, just the basics. And then I have my jewelry and hair and some skincare. But I removed a lot of the like extra stuff that was on the top of my vanity and I cleared out this top drawer to be able to put them in here. So I have like my daytime skincare, my toner, moisturizer, and eye cream so now I have them in this top drawer it's not like cluttering up the top of my vanity so I really really like that then I have like hair things like little clips and bobby pins and hair ties and stuff and then I have my beauty blender some lip balms that I didn't really know where to put and then um Shiseido facial cottons q-tips I need to refill and surprisingly these like nice glasses I had them in before it actually closes all the way even with them in it so um that's all like the new stuff I have in here this used to be like my eye drawer and I did keep some eye products in here like my fake lashes um pencil sharpener some extra brow products stuff that I don't need often so I left them in here and then um this stuff is awesome the elf makeup lock and seal to like make powder products into like liquids kind of so that is what I have in the top drawer now then this drawer is pretty much the same this is my blushes 
bronzers, highlighters, and I also added setting powders here because since I've been getting into setting powders and now that I have the Guerlain Meteorites, they're kind of giant and um, it's a lot to have on the top of my vanity. So it had this really perfect space to fit my two setting powders and then I have my bronzers, blushes, and highlighters like they were before. So I really like how this is set up. I have really enjoyed this setup. Then the next drawer is all eye products and I was able to condense all of my eye products into one drawer and it used to be two. So I'm really happy about that. So this is what it looks like now. I used to have it in this like jewelry organizer, but it didn't really work having everything in here. So now I have all of my cream shadows. I got rid of more of my color tattoos. I only have three now. Um, Sleek and Spice, uh, Nude Compliment, and then my all-time favorite, Lavish Lavender. I cannot part with that one. And then I have my other cream shadows. Then I have my um, eyeliners and like shadow sticks in this little um, tea light, empty tea light thing and it fits perfectly and it even closes with them standing up so I really enjoy that. And then I have one pencil that was too long so I just had it laying down. And then um, I have all my palettes like in the middle of here so I have um, my Wet n Wild, my Maybelline, more drugstore, um, Rimmel and Wet n Wild. Then I have bigger palettes, Sony Kashuk Sleek, MUA, bunch of MUA, my Smoked palette, Shady Lady that Sam gave me, um, my one of my MAC quads, my Inglot quad that Sam also gave me. So that's all like the palettes. So they're all like condensed in this one area. And then my singles are over here. So I have my Burberry, other like high-end, um, here like NARS and the Balm and Lorac and stuff. Then I have, um, sorry I'm getting like out of breath, um, my L'Oreal Infallibles here. I have uh, Urban Decay, some like drugstore ones, and then my Firene single shadows back there. So I really like this setup a lot. I think that this will be really perfect. Everything's in one place and um, then I can just see like all the colors together and I'll remind myself like to use different cream shadows and, and things like that. So I really like this and I got rid of a few um, more eye products that I wasn't really using. Then this drawer is lip products and like foundations. So this I didn't really change. I just have um, my nudes and pinks in this little organizer and then I have my let's see, corals and oranges in this spot. And then I have my darker colors in this little area. Over here I have my powder foundations and then my liquid foundations that I'm gonna try to use up next year. So this didn't really change other than I removed my setting powders from here. And my last drawer I didn't change is like backups and my empty project pan and those types of projects I put the empties in this little basket so it's out of the way. So I have just like backups of random stuff and like stuff that I need to take back to Kiehl's to get points and yada yada. Also I wanted to show you guys my new shoes. My grandparents, my Gigi and Grampy bought me these and they're so awesome. I love them. Maybe you guys can see them better that way. But they're from New Balance and they're so so comfy and they have like a cool orange accent. I just love them. So that is what I did. Oh, I also, for my um, perfume samples, I put them in the little Bite Beauty tin from the holiday set because I didn't really know what to do with this tin. But perfume samples fit really perfectly in here. So I have some like vertical and then I have some horizontal. And I think that's also good because you're not supposed to get like perfume in light so this is perfect because it like closes up and stuff um and I don't know I just thought, thought this was cute and I needed the little holder I was using before to hold my uh, eye pencils for in there but I also got um the Tom Ford Black Orchid from the Sephora set I finally picked it up in the store and the bottle is gorgeous I love it it is so freaking beautiful so now I have a nice little 
Tom Ford accent in my perfume collection. But yeah, so that is that. And um, I don't know, I just got the like itch to organize and like condense even more my collection. And um, I don't know, I think you guys like seeing when I do stuff like this because I get like good feedback when I do these types of videos. And I don't know, I'm just really in that mood this year. For the past like year, I've really been into the condense, use things up, get rid of things, only have stuff you like and have a smaller amount. And I am still on that path. I'm trying to get to the ultimate goal of having like only my favorite makeup and it's definitely a long process. It's not something unless you were really wealthy and you could just throw everything out and start all over again, which would be really nice. Um, it's not something I think that is an overnight process for people. So this has been good. It's another step in the right direction for me. Just keeping that like sense of wanting less, I think is really important for me because for so long I just wanted more and more and more and more and more and I still want to buy stuff and get new stuff and all that but I feel like I want less but I want higher quality and things that I really really think about and really really want. So um, you'll probably be seeing less number of things come in but more high quality, more expensive, stuff like that. So that's where my mindset is right now on makeup and just like stuff in general like clothes and shoes and I'm trying not to buy like a ton of cheaper stuff. I'm trying to like save up more, buy things from good companies that are known for good quality things and that's I think part of growing up and having my own money to spend and like be able to invest in things. I think that that's a huge part of it because before I couldn't afford to invest in stuff. I just had to buy what was cheaper and what I could actually afford. So it's nice to have a little bit of money and to be able to buy nicer things. So yeah, um, it's weird to talk to a camera after not doing it for a long time, but I have missed talking to you guys and um, I'm going to try to get back into making videos more regularly. This weekend I'm actually going to Baltimore back to visit my college friends and I'm really excited. So I won't have videos this weekend other than tomorrow for my weekly repeats and reviews. Um, but hopefully next week I'll be able to film some things. I have videos that I'm excited to get to but I don't have like the content ready. Like I, I'm really excited about this one video that I've had in mind for years but I never get around to doing it and it's what I'm buying other people for Christmas and so I need to just order all this stuff or buy all the stuff I'm getting people for Christmas and then show you guys what I'm getting because I have a few good ideas this year and um, I really love sharing different ideas about what to get people for Christmas and um, yeah so I really want to make that video but I have to get the stuff first so that's the one issue. Um, but that's a video I'm really like inspired about making and really excited about but I just need to like get the stuff to be able to show you guys what I'm giving people. Um, and then I have a bunch of videos at the end of this year like my um, project use it up plan, my beauty budget, I've like thought more about that and um, decided a few more things that I want to add to that. Um, my like finale for my project pan, just a bunch of different things. New projects starting for 2015, my um, Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo. Um, what else? There was other stuff. I have way a lot of things that are going to be like at the end of the year and the beginning of next year. A lot of a lot of video ideas but like right now it's just I don't know I haven't been super inspired to make a lot of videos so if you guys have any requests please let me know um, because I would love to like get re-inspired about doing different types of videos but I've just been really, I don't know, really uninspired I guess. So um, let me know what you would like to see and if you have any great ideas because you guys are seriously super creative and have some amazing ideas so please let me know about that. Um, I think that's all I had to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, I hope that you're having a great week and I will see you guys tomorrow for a weekly repeats and reviews. I have some cool stuff to share with you guys. So I will see you then. Have a great night. Bye!